And now your exclusive Storm Team 3 forecast from KTVO. Here's a look from the KTVO Skycam that's located on top of the Samaritan Hospital in Macon, brought to you by Heritage House Realty and Culver Stockton College. And it is raining in Macon, temperatures near 60 degrees. In fact, most of the activity remains into northeast Missouri, just some cloudy skies and very light uh, showers in Davis County. But that is just about it in uh, southeast Iowa. But I want to draw your attention to Macon County because just to the south into Randolph and Sheraton counties, they do have a severe thunderstorm warning until 645. So we're watching this cell very closely. It's moving off to the east at about 35 miles per hour, but still some strong thunderstorms. Thunderstorms pushing in from Lynn into Macon County that will be affecting the city of Macon uh, within the next 15 20 minutes with some heavy rainfall embedded. Uh, probably going to be seeing some lightning, some small hail, and some gusty winds associated with this. Uh, so be on the heads up with that. This severe thunderstorm is just on the very edge of Macon County and into Randolph County. So it's going to be hitting Moberly uh, within the next 10 to 15. 15 minutes, so just be aware of that. Temperatures right now 61 degrees and cloudy skies at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the southwest at around 11 miles per hour. Tumwa 65 degrees. Winds are still brisk out of the southwest at around 15 miles per hour. So we've already picked up a good uh, quarter of an inch in some locations as we're heading into the rest of tonight and into Tuesday. Uh, an additional quarter of an inch. Some locations could be a little bit more than a quarter of an inch for tomorrow. So here's what we're looking at. Uh, as this cell continues to push off to this to the east, uh, most of this will be out of here by 11 to midnight time frame. Just a very slight chance uh, into Macon area as we're heading into the overnight, but about a 20 to 30 percent chance. We're going to see more activity pushing in for tomorrow, starting into the late morning, but more widely spread activity into the afternoon hours as this whole complex storm system continues to push off to the east. On Wednesday, we're actually going to be on the back side of this, and then we're going to see some more activity into the uh, morning hours and into the afternoon before it finally exits by Wednesday night. We're going to be a little bit dry, dry now, and then unfortunately more rain is coming in. As far as our temperatures, chilly. In fact, our high was about 69 degrees. That was about 10 o'clock this morning. Then temperatures continue to fall as that rain pushed in. For Tuesday and Wednesday, um, temperatures well below normal. Our average for this week is about 74, 75 degrees. We're not going to see that until about Thursday or Friday when those temperatures start to warm back up. Over the next 12 hours, those temperatures will continue to fall. We're going to actually be waking up about 10 degrees warmer than what we did this morning. 54 degrees at 3 a.m. by 7 a.m., 53 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. So temperatures for tonight around 52 degrees. I did put a slight chance for some rain showers in here, uh, but I think for the most part we will remain dry. It's about a 20 to 30 percent chance. Southwest winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs on Tuesday, we're looking at about 62 degrees with rain showers continuing. Southwest winds switching to the northwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. The extended five-day forecast finally drying out for one day on Thursday as we warm up to 73 degrees with mostly sunny skies. Here comes the next round pushing in late Thursday night, Friday and Saturday with a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Mid 70s for Friday and Saturday overnight lows from the 40s, warming into the 50s over the weekend. Of course, anytime check us out 24 seven at KTVO.com. I, I said it at five. I feel like a mm -hmm. broken record yep. because it's just more rain just about every day. All right. Thanks for the heads up about it. At You're least. Welcome. We won't blame you. Thanks. <laughs> Coming up.